Hey students, welcome to your very first Amplify lesson. Uh, Mr. Wigan here and uh, broadcasting to you from my desk. Uh, and yes, you may notice, hey, Mr. Wigan is sporting that man pony. Yeah, well, uh, these are unprecedented times for my hair. Uh, and so keeps it out of my face. Uh, judge or don't judge, I really don't care. Um, so we're in lesson 1.1, Introduction to the Scale of Living Things. And since this is the first video, let me go ahead and um, remind you about a couple things. Uh, what I would hope that you do is that you have this video open and you're following along as you also have uh, the Amplify page open. So if we go to Amplify, uh, we want to be in microbiomes. I'm going to click on that. We want to be in chapter one right here. I'm going to click on that. And we want to be here, lesson 1.1. All of your lessons will be labeled um, in Google Classroom as microbiomes, lesson 1.1, whatever, um, along with the accompanying videos, which will be attached. And any other materials that you need for the lesson will also be attached to your lesson. So let's go ahead and jump on in. And you don't have this little slide, this little section right here, teacher, that's for me. Uh, but you do have these, uh, all the numbered lessons, and I'll show you more about those as we go, okay? So for right now, we're going through the slides that Amplify has so graciously provided for us. Um, and let's go to this next slide, activity one. <gasps> okay, so whenever you see this type of slide, it says activity one, we're gonna wanna make sure that we are clicked on activity one right there. All right, you should see something like this. Honestly, I'm not sure if yours says spark students interest in the slideshow consisting of microscopic organisms found on the human body, um, but it should at least have these two vocabulary words, organism and scale. So organism is any living thing, um, such as plants, animal, and bacteria. Are you an organism? Well, ask yourself the question, am I a living thing? Um, and then scale, the relative size of things. We're gonna talk about scale in just a moment. Um, Here's our next slide. We're starting a new unit about life science. Life science is about, you guessed it, life. Uh, good for you, A+. Plus. Um, but we're also going to learn about how scientists go about learning about life as well, not just some of these basic things. We're going to have some content. We're going to have some skills, all the above. Uh, hey, look, check this out. In this unit, you will take on the role of a student researcher for the fictional microbiome research institute and we get to watch a video <gasps> awesome i love videos okay here's what i want you to do i have included the video on your assignment go ahead and hit pause right here and uh watch that video for me oh man i don't know about you but i was all for robert Naismith in the beginning i was like yeah big things right on let's get some roads going on up in here uh, but then, you know, Dr. Mara comes along and she's like, well, now small things kind of matter. So I'm interested to find out more. Um, and what our job is going to be is what, as student researchers, we need to find out more about, uh, these microorganisms and the human microbiome. Um, what about you? What did you think about the video? What do you think about Naismith? What do you think about Dr. Mara and what they have to say? Are small things important? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I, I'll, I'll bet we're gonna find out um, some information about those. Um, what do you think you'll be working on in your role as researchers? Well, I mean, Dr. Mara kind of told us, right? Uh, we're gonna try to find out everything we can about uh, this microbiome and microorganisms. Um, but I wonder, I wonder if there's something more to it. Uh, so here's our unit question. This is gonna guide our entire microbiome unit. How can having 100 trillion microorganisms on and in the human body keep us healthy? Did you know that? Did you know you had, did, I mean, is that news to you? Did you even know? Yeah, you have over 100 trillion microorganisms living on you and in you. We're gonna learn about some of those and uh, what they are actually doing to keep us healthy. Uh, that, not all of them keep us healthy, but a lot of them do. Um, so it may seem weird and unbelievable that we have tiny living things on and in our bodies. We're gonna look at some of these images. Ooh, the images times. Um, and what I want you to do is when you see the image, try, try to imagine what the heck you're looking at. Um, so here we go. Here's our first one. Ooh, look at that thing. 
it's kind of like spiky and there's red gobbly gook going on here, some yellowish things. Uh, what do you think about this? I don't know. You can pause it and like write something down if you want or, or not. Either way. Uh, let's, oh, here we go. It tells us what it is. Good, because I, I hate a mystery. Uh, this is an enlarged image showing a very tiny organism or living thing that is so small it can live inside the human body. Ooh, these are blood cells? Those are, are those my blood cells? Um, is that what my blood cells look like? What, what is this organism? Is it like eating them? I don't know. I want to know more. Hey, look, vocabulary organism. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Living things. We talked about this at the very beginning, um, such as plants, animals, and bacteria. So we will be using uh, these terms. And our next term is scale, the relative size of things. What do we mean by the relative size of things? Well, let's go ahead and uh, move forward and hopefully we can figure that out. Um, ooh, look, pro tip right here. Throughout the year, you can look up vocabulary words in the glossary to help you understand what they mean. So you do have a glossary um, in Amplify. Um, hey, look, more pictures. I love looking at these pictures. Uh, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at eyelashes. You have eyelashes, right? So do I. Um, but down below, 50 times closer. What? What? That's what my eyelashes look like? What is all that flaky business going on there? What is that stuff on? Are my eyelashes green? No, they're not green. Um, the, the color has been changed. Um, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at another picture. What, ooh, what is an eyelash mite? Ugh! W wait a minute. You're telling me I have those things in my eyelashes right now? Hey, let, let me tell you, you got a lot more than just eyelash mites going on in your body right now. Um, but, uh, look, look at this question right here. What questions do you have about the image of mites that live on eyelashes? I know I have an immediate question. Can they hurt me? Are they like eating me? Are they biting me? How do I get rid of them is what I want to know. Those are my questions. Um, let's, let's move on to the next picture. Ooh, a fingerprint. Hey, that's kind of cool. Look at that. I, I mean, I, I could I look at my fingerprints, but look at that so close up. There's a fingerprint ridge. Looks like a cross section, doesn't it? 150 times closer. 150 times closer. So what, what questions do you have, if any? Um, again, these are falsely colored or something. Uh, I forget how they say that. False, false color image? Yeah, something like that. Um, let's look at this one. Oh, 2,000 times closer. So this one was 150 times closer. This one is 2,000 times closer. And now we can see tiny microorganisms. Cool. Look at these things right here. These little microorganisms. And it says, well, this is a, uh, a single human skin cell. Well, that's cool. What's a cell? Oh, we haven't gotten to that yet, have we? Um, Ooh, human hair. Look at that human hair. That kind of kind of reminds me of like the eyelash a little bit, doesn't it? it had all that kind of flaky stuff around it, and then the the, the little hair follicle. What uh? Ooh, what's this next one? It's your favorite and mine. <gasps> it's a louse. What's a louse? Well, it's a singular of lice. Lice. Um, that's what they look like. Isn't that crazy? Uh, how? You know, does it say? I don't think it says how uh, much uh, enlarged. That is, but if this is 150 times closer, well, that human hair looks about that same size. So I'm guessing, just guessing here, that that louse is magnified about 150 times. Now that I really don't want on my body. I know this, I do not want those. Eyelash mites, uh, if I had to choose, I would take neither, um, but that one for sure not. So hey, check this out. Activity number two, activity number two. So when we see this slide again, we want to go back to Amplify. Uh-oh, I'm out of Amplify now. 1.1. And we are now in this right here. Quick write, writing number two. And here's what I want you to do. Uh, we already looked at this. Microorganism is an organism too small to be seen with the naked eye. And now I want you to write. How small are the microorganisms that live on and in the human body? Uh, we've been looking at some of these organisms. Um, and to understand the role microorganisms play in health, let's consider how it's possible that there are living things on and in the human body that we can't see without special equipment. Because we have to realize that, yeah, there's tons of stuff living on and in us that we just can't see. 
Here's our microorganism definition. Here is our chapter one question. We have not seen that yet. How small are the microorganisms that live on and in the human body? And that's what we want to try to answer together right now. So again, um, in activity number two, you are going to type right here. Uh, I think a microorganism is smaller than, okay, great, a sentence starter. I love that. Um, don't worry if you don't have a lot of ideas yet. Okay, good, because I was kind of confused. I'm not 100% sure. Don't worry about it, just write what you think. I think a microorganism is smaller than a something. I don't know, that's up to you. So do that right now. Go ahead and pause, uh, write that in and submit that right now, pause. Activity three, great, let's make sure we jump on to activity three. Student to student discussion exploring scale. Now, it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to have a student to student discussion because, well, there's probably no one in our class sitting next to you right now. Um, and also, this is gonna be a little difficult because I would normally hand you cards that you would hold in your hand and you would sort them um, and to the right size. Well, I have uploaded a PDF of all of the cards. You could print them if you wanted to, or you could just look at them and uh, go along with this activity uh, just that way. So uh, these cards are what I have uploaded to your assignment. You will sort these cards from smallest to largest. And that's what I want you to do. Th look at every single one of those cards. I try to figure out well, which one is the smallest one, which one is the biggest one. It's okay if you don't get it correct the first time. Um, and it says it wants you to, um, you know, discuss and uh, talk with your partner. I, I realize, again, you don't have a partner. But take a look at those cards right now and uh, try to figure it out, okay? Activity four is the scale tool. So, again, here's the slide. Activity four, we want to make sure we jump onto activity four, the sim. Uh, sims are these interactive uh, tools that you're going to use a lot in Amplify. Almost, I think, every single lesson has a sim. Um, so this one is the scale tool. I'm going to go ahead and just open it right now uh, and let it load for a second. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to explore. The scale tool allows us to see things relative uh, in relative size to one another. So let's go ahead and jump on and see uh, what that actually looks like. It's so, hey, look, it's an astronaut. I see them every single day. No, I don't. But here's one in front of me. Um, and what we can do with the scale tool is we can slide this slider up and down and it will show us, again, the relative size of things. Um, so let's go to the left and look, it's a human heart. You can click on these things and it will tell you a little bit more about them. It will tell you about the approximate size of each one of them. So there's a human heart and you can see, ah, look at that heart in relation to the astronaut. That's how big that heart would actually be in relation to this astronaut. Here is an ostrich egg. Uh, again, that would be the size of an ostrich egg in relation to this astronaut. And you can go so far down, and you can look at so many different things, and you can go so far out, and oh my gosh, is that the Milky Way? It is, look, there, there's us. Um, here's what you're doing, you're gonna explore. Go look at some of that stuff. Click on some of those things. Find something that you don't know, what the heck is this? And then click on it and find out about it. Once you've explored that for a little bit, you are going to go back to your cards. And I want you to use the scale tool to try to put them in the correct order. Um, now that you have that scale tool in front of you, can is, is there any information that you can find on any of these objects uh, to help you put them in the correct order, okay? So that is your task. Launch the skill tool, um, play with it a little bit, and then try to resort your cards. Go ahead and do that right now. What kinds of things did you notice? Um, what was bigger, a skin cell or a red blood cell? Was there anything that was kind of hard to find? Uh, what types of things did you notice that, hey, I can actually see this with the naked eye? What does that mean, the naked eye? It means you don't need any kind of magnifying tool or instrument to in order to see the object. Um, so maybe you saw that uh, differentiation, uh, that line that got drawn, like, hey, anything up on this side of the line, you can see with your naked eye. Anything on this side of the line, eh, you need like a microscope or something. Um, but yeah, what kinds of things did you notice? Oh, activity five. Oh, 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 here it is. Activity, click, 
five, here's what you're gonna do. It's our first key concept. I have a list of these key concepts that I have included in our um, microbiomes unit folder, a list of all of our key concepts, a list of all of our vocabulary terms. And in the future, I will have even more resources available to you for some of our other units. But this is our very first one. Many organisms are microscopic. What does that mean? You can't see them with your naked eye. You cannot see them without a microscope. They are that small. And when you actually start looking at some of these organisms, it is fascinating. Uh, the complexity of these living things, even though they are so, so tiny, uh, there is a lot going on. You might think, oh, the smaller something is, uh, you know, the simpler it is, but it, it, there is so much happening. If you look inside of a cell, you will see things going on, moving um, so many different parts. And uh, just because it's so small doesn't mean it's insignificant. <sighs> oh my gosh, isn't that something that we're going to be coming back to? All right. So um, here we go. There's our key concept. Oh, shuffle your scale cards. Well, I guess if you got them. Oh, reflection, activity six. Let's go, let's go, activity six. Let's keep moving and grooving, people. <sighs> Easy. Well, I mean, if you did the scale tool right, you're going to drag these in the correct order. Oh, I think a human is here. Uh, I think a water molecule is there. Um, smallest to largest, top to bottom. So put the smallest thing on the top, the largest thing on the bottom, and then don't forget to hand in your work. Um, whenever you do something on uh, the Amplify lessons, there will usually be a, a hand in, a submit button, um, and make sure you always hit that button. Otherwise, I won't be able to see your work. Um, and then you won't be getting credit for it. So just like when we did our uh, quick write before, what did it say on the quick write? Sorry, I didn't point that out to you. Ta -ta. After you write your response, it says hand in, see, yeah, just like that. Uh, it'll always say something like that whenever you need to hand something in. So just like for this reflection, you will hit, oh, hand in, there you go. All right, so put those in order, and then your homework. Let's take a look at your homework. Well, let's see what the slides have to say. Don't want to make, don't want to leave anything out. Yeah, everything that I already said. Ooh, homework. Here we go. Activity seven. Let's click on activity seven. A lot of your lessons will not have so many activities. Um, ooh, for this activity, you'll respond to two questions using vocabulary terms. Look at those little pictures. Here are our questions right here. Um, at the bottom of the screen. Where are the uh, questions at the bottom of the screen? Well, here they are. What was surprising or interesting to learn about the very small organisms and objects in today's lesson? And then what other questions you have about microorganisms? So please respond to those. Um, and really it's just, you know, your own thoughts, your own things, yeah. Uh, your own questions. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer, really, as long as it pertains to microorganisms in today's lesson, right? Um, so there you go. Once you finish your homework, make sure you hit hand in and check back tomorrow on Google Classroom for our next lesson. Ah, look, we made it. End of lesson. Hooray. Good for you.